What's up Shady Crew, back at it again with another reaction video, man, and we are keeping this this day going, which is Labor Day, man. Um, so in this diss track, man, this is a diss track from uh, Grizzy uh, Hendrix, um, and it was a Lord Jamar um, diss. Now, if you're not familiar with what's going on, this... Um, is him giving his two cents or his diss in regards to what Lord Jamar had to say about Eminem. And to really sum it up, basically what he said was hip hop rap is a culture um, that was devised or that was brought about by African Americans. So regardless of how successful Eminem was, um, how many records he sold until African Americans actually denote that he is the GOAT. He cannot just say that he's the GOAT. So that was the argument that he did on a little Vlad TV excerpt, right? So then you had Eminem who came out and was like, yo, everybody think they want this problem until they get it. So we thought it was dead there, but oh, we were wrong. Lord Jamar follows up and says, every problem has a solution. So. That kind of got, you know, everybody buzzing, everybody picking sides. You know how we love diss tracks. We love how to amp it up, man. And it's like, oh, if we can get another M diss, by all means. Most people didn't really know who Lord Jamar was. Um, it's my understanding he was a part of a group. Um, I'm not even going to hold you guys. I'm not too familiar with Lord Jamar. I don't know him personally. I've never heard a track that Lord Jamar has dropped. But it would be dope just, of course, to get the banter. I don't know. He kind of reminds me of Joe Button. And we see Joe Button never picked up a mic after all those diss requests from last year. But that's neither here nor there. So uh, Grizzly Hendrix decided to drop this diss track. Um, and it's, hi, my name is Lord Jamar. So we're going to get into this. Hopefully it's lit. Of course, we won't know if it is or if it isn't until the end of the vid. Um, but we are no stranger to Grizzy because he definitely did a track that I reacted to um, where he was just giving his opinion. This was around when Rap Devil was out with MGK going at Eminem and he just did like this appreciation track um, for Eminem, which was absolutely dope, man. And I said then, if I was a rapper, that's the way that I would pay homage to you know, a rapper that I support. If I'm in the game, being able to speak from that vantage point and just give them their flowers while they're still alive is always dope. But that's not why we're here. Let's get into this this man. Hopefully it's lit, man. Um, now, I'm going to see if I can stop if he hits on something. See if the computer works with me. If it doesn't, we're probably just going to have to run this through. Uh, but anyways, guys, we're going to get into this. So without further ado, let's get it. Will, will crown Eminem king because he sold the most records out of all the rappers. But when we go into everyday life of black people, the people who are the originators of this shit, we don't fucking listen to him. Yeah, another black rapper mad because yeah. of Eminem stats. Trying to create diversity by using white and black. It's kind of sad to see your ass get on Vlad and talk smack. My nigga, you are a L. I would have thought you battle rap. Taking shots at a goat like you woke up a nap. You rather gossip on the couch for views. Let's talk facts. How is Royce a house nigga, but you making Vlad cash. You sit back and get asked a million things about the past and don't even get half of that bag that you helped craft with your interviews, but quick to put another wrong blast. Wow. Whoever takes time to analyze that, you might laugh. I mean, this whole white supremacy thing that you might have, cause they call Slim the greatest is an angle that you craft up to keep us coming back to tune into your podcast. And I don't have to go to Harvard to know it, it's simple math. Hood against nerd, white against black. black. Trying to divide the room so we debate why you cap. But oh. I'm the rap guy, so get on your knees like you cap. The hood hey, don't man. listen to him. Ooh. Ooh, that was a that was a mean verse right there. That was a mean bar. Ooh, what did he say? Hold up, hold up, hold up. What did he say? But I'm the rap guy, so get on your knees like Cap. Oh my gosh, bro. But he's speaking facts, man. Um, 
like he said in this, just just retracting some of the bars that he dropped, talking about Lord Jamar using Eminem's name to keep people viewing in, how he called uh, Royce 5'9", a house nigga. Like, you're calling them, but you're doing the same thing. You're pandering to this so that people will tune in and watch you because of the stuff that you're saying. So it's like, ah, it's like the pot calling the kettle, bruh. Let's get White it, man. White people will, will crown Eminem king because he's... Hold up. We way past that. Greatest is an angle that you craft up to keep us coming back to tune into your podcast. And I, I ain't have to go to Harvard to know it. It's simple math. Like Hood against nerd, white against black. black. Trying to divide the room so we debate why you cap. But oh. I'm the rap guy, so get on your knees like you cap. The hood hey, don't man. listen to him. You say that Ooh. shit as if it's bad. The hood don't listen to no one. Why you think we shoot Max in an apple why? click clap? Cause then why is full of cats who lack class, who serve crack, then get knocked and that's that. that. Granted, I rock with your thoughts about how nip pass, but you rather keep this narrative going cause you gas cause yeah. you got this on kamikaze now you get asked a billion oh. questions about slim we can see the this aftermath this see. attention that you seek and any real one can see if they open up their blinds and don't get blind by this beef this no. ain't black against white this no. is wrong no. against right. right it should be about the lyricists and who really writes but you'll take a sound right a martial rap and gave for likes as if that's not satire retire your whole life you never point out how we sheds light on a mic had a skin color did propel them to get them hype but we cherry we pick what Ooh. we want to hear when we decide if this benefits the argument that we trying to design but fine y'all be sheep cause this shit's a waste of time don't nobody gotta love him and them but in his prime so was one of a kind of hip-hop icon i thought i addressed this shit on think shady yes now nah, i put the real thing about this when you bust down my lines and probably put aside your pride and hood niggas done crying cause a white boy's nice and lord jamal's finish line it's gonna always be about race so we ain't unified so ha my name is lord jamal you're a pet to a god, another fake woke fraud who loves to hear himself oh talk. I'm gone. Yo, yo, what? Yo, that is the meanest cover. He hit with hit him with the high. My name is. Oh my god. Hold up, let's run that back one more time. That was mean, bro. Peasant to a god, another fake woke fraud who loves to hear himself talk. I'm gone. Rap god. Thanks for the support, asshole. Hold up. I didn't hear himself that talk. Enough. I'm Hold gone. Up. Rap guy. Rap. My name is Lord Jamal. You're a peasant to a god. Another fake woke fraud who loves to hear himself talk. I'm gone. Rap guy. Rap guy. Thank, 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 thanks for the support, asshole. Oh my gosh, bro. All right, we're going to stop it right here, man. Let's get into this, man. And I apologize, guys, on. You know, the clicking, I don't know, YouTube is weird, man. When you're trying to do these recordings, sometimes you click back, it don't go back further enough, or it, it, like it's, I don't know. They need to get their stuff together. But anyways, man, this was definitely dope, man. This was definitely dope. Coming from uh, Greasy Hendrix, man, dropping this diss track to Lord Jamar, man, and uh, just speaking fast, you know, from, and he's speaking from a fan's uh, bird's eye view like this is what when you take yourself out of the situation and actually kind of look at it This is how crazy it looks like you're picking fights with with people because they're back They're going against what you're saying. You're saying that M isn't the gold or he isn't the greatest because this group of people don't listen to him and it's like hold up, bro like that's not actually facts. Like, maybe people that you know may not listen to him, but those same people may not listen to you. So what does that say about you? And I completely forgot that Eminem on the Kamikaze track did uh, jab at Lord Jamar, and we still didn't get a response from you, who you say that he's not the GOAT, but you didn't, you didn't get on the ones and twos and come at him, did you? Very smart. So you're just gonna sit on a couch and have these conversations and not even collect your royalties because you're giving out free free press. It's like, ah, man, can't really take you serious. But man, Grizzy definitely burnt him in this, man. He just blew up his whole spot. And and it, it's, it's kind of a stupid comparison, a stupid conversation, bro, because you can't remove what Eminem did. We can't, you can't remove how um, how he he brought about 50's existence and really blew him up. How when that 
uh, beef between 50 and Ja Rule got out of control how he stepped in and had his bros back like bruh like if you want to just keep this about white versus black then I mean that's on you but you're gonna miss out on a lot of stuff man if you are that narrow minded um, and I'm just gonna say it man from a person who has listened to Eminem since I was in high school bruh this man has never let us down on the track. The man has literally been dropping bangers. He's collabed with everybody. He's established so much stuff. Like, how can you look at what he's done and like, yeah, the, the, one of the greatest MCs um, that you guys love the most, which is Jay-Z, um, bodies him on his own track. You cannot negate what he did on Renegade. You, we were listening to Renegade and I mean, my first, Time listening to that Renegade track, I absolutely forgot that it was a Jay-Z song. I thought it was an Eminem song that Jay-Z was featured on. That's how he bodied him on that track. And um, there's various other people that have collabed with, with Eminem and got shown up. Like, you can't deny the skill, bruh. I don't care how you try to denote it uh, down to a color scheme, bruh. Like, you cannot knock off what he was able to do, what he was able to bring to the game. And so uh, what Grizzly did in this track and him just uncovering and holding Lord Jamar up to the light and was like, see all this blas blasphemous stuff that you're talking about, bro? We can flip the script. Um, but I definitely love how he flipped it at the end, throwing in, you know, those great accolades to Eminem. Um, the high, my name is, the shady bar, like, you know, thanks for your support, like, yo, those were classics. Those were classics. So definitely salute to uh, Grizzly on that, man. If there was ever anyone that was gonna gonna come at Lord Jamar and you know, um, from a fan standpoint, it was gonna be Grizzly. Like you know, we already knew this was coming, but definitely dope for me. Definitely enjoyed the bars, and he definitely brought some awareness to the situation. Now, how this plays out, of course, we won't know. Will Eminem give him bars? Will Lord Jamar pick up a mic? I don't know. Outside of the Vlad TV mic, I don't know. Because he brought up a very good perspective. It kind of sounds like you're just pandering for views. You keep you bringing up Eminem's name because you realize that people are tuning in to watch you because you're bringing up his name, which is whack. But it is what it is, man. People have to live, and so that's how they decide to make their ends. That's how they make their ends. But for me, this was definitely a dope diss track um, from Grizzly, man. Definitely salute to you, man, uh, for doing this and helping us continue this this track day, Labor Day, man, it was definitely dope for me. You guys have to let me know what you thought about the track, what was the hardest bar for you, and we'll definitely hash it up in the comments. But anyways, guys, we're going to keep this moving. Make sure you stay locked to this channel. Your video's coming up next. Make sure you smash that like, subscribe if you're new, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Until then, Shady Crew, stay shady out there.